There is one huge mistake that I see time and again that many women are making when it comes to fat loss around the time of menopause. I'm going to talk about it in this video. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape and I'm here in the kitchen to show you the huge mistake and how you can put it right that women make when it comes to fat loss over 40 and around the time of menopause and that is simply not getting in enough protein. Recently, I was actually recognized and approached by a woman in the gym and, and she kind of said, oh, my fat loss has stalled. I'm just not losing weight. And I said, oh, are you getting your protein in? And she said, yeah, yeah, I'm getting my protein in. And I said, well, how much are you getting in? And she said, oh, about 90 grams. Now, 90 grams of protein, unless you weigh about 100 pounds or less in weight, it's just not not nearly enough. So 100 pounds is actually about 45 kilograms and so if you weigh that then yeah maybe 100 grams of protein is about right for you but if you weigh 150 pounds or like me 120 pounds you need to be taking one gram of protein per pound in your body weight. I push mine up higher so I weigh around about 120 pounds and I'm taking a 160 grams of protein. So I'm just about to have my breakfast or make my breakfast and this is a key thing, your breakfast, you want to be getting 40 or 50 grams of protein in with your breakfast because you want to start off on the right foot. So I've made a pancake mixture there and I'm going to be making my famous protein pancakes, which there are recipes all over YouTube. I will put the ingredients here now. So I'll talk you through the ingredients. You just put these in a blender. It's two eggs, 30 grams of oatmeal, oats as we call them in the UK, one banana, a scoop of protein powder and I've actually added in a scoop of collagen powder as well in there and it's like a very thick texture. I like to add a teaspoon of baking powder just so they come out as really nice pancakes and so I'm going to cook those now. What's going to happen with that breakfast is I'm getting a really high amount of protein in and so I don't have to play catch up through the day. The rest of the day I'm going to be getting in about 20 to 30 grams per meal or per snack per day and that's going to get me to that magical 160 grams of protein and it's actually really easy especially if you do like with that meal supplement with protein. So I've got a pan heating up here and I'm just going to start making these protein pancakes. They are so easy and what you can do is actually get the pancake mix done ahead of time. So I've got the pancakes there and I'm just going to add some berries, some lovely strawberries there and some blueberries. And I'm going to put on a dollop of 0% fat Greek yogurt as well, just because it adds a nice texture, but it's also going to bump the protein up really, really high. One of the objections I get from women is they just say, oh, well, that means I'm going to have to eat really high calories. But what you've got to remember is for most women, your maintenance calories are going to be around 2000. I'm just going to pour on some sugar-free maple syrup as well. So your maintenance calories are 2,000 calories. So, you know, if you're going to be eating 1,600, 1,800 calories, that type of thing, you can afford to have a really big solid breakfast like that. So having a breakfast like that, it's going to enable me to get 40, 50 grams of protein in just at one sitting. And so that's going to get me set up for the day with making sure I get that 150, 100 
160 grams of protein. Another objection I get is, well, you can't absorb all that protein in one go. And that may well be true, but we're not just talking about muscle building. What it's going to do is it's actually going to increase your metabolism. Having all that protein, because it takes your body longer to break down protein than it does fats and carbohydrates. And so what that's going to do is going to boost your metabolism. And so you're going to be burning calories just by eating. So that's the amazing thing about protein. I've seen amazing results by doing this. I don't recommend that anybody at this stage in life eats under one gram of protein per pound in body weight unless you kind of weigh over 170 pounds then shoot for your goal body weight but you know what it's really easy to get in around 200 grams of protein my partner Ken does it you know I work with women that get in about 200 grams of protein it's just a mindset thing it's just a habit it's a mindset and you know especially with all the sort of supplementation you can do with protein powders and collagen it makes it really easy but you've basically got to think of it is you're going to need to eat protein at every single meal and snack and quite a lot of it and what it's going to do is actually going to make you feel satisfied and then the other objection that I hear a lot from people is well the health organization whoever that is in your country they don't recommend that amount of protein no they don't because they're not talking about menopausal women they're actually talking about the standard population and we're talking about women now where you're really struggling for fat loss and so you need to do things differently you need to throw out what you've learned in the past about fat loss and weight loss and do things differently and the protein is the biggest mistake that I see you guys make